Okay, here we are in wave B. So wave A was uh, down of the zigzag. Wave B comes up a little again, a little increase in volume before we then get into our final wave C before event week. So, you know, our volume's just going to increase a little, as I said, with wave B, but I won't be looking at uh, too much intensity because I've got an eye on uh, making sure that I'm fresh now. Um, not a whole lot longer to go before the feral pig. So, if it, uh, wave B, a bit more volume, and then, uh, yeah, we'll just keep going, see how we go. So, less than four weeks to go to the feral pig, and, uh, you know, it was only two years ago that um, the event, well, most of it, was called off because of extreme temperatures and, um, and dire, you know, fire warnings and things you know it was um high 30 degrees centigrade over 100 degrees fahrenheit um and with less than four weeks to go we are still not finished with rain here it's um it's raining <laughs> so who knows just what is going to get dished up in the feral pig this year it could be anything so i'm trying to run more in the middle of the day even though the temperatures haven't warmed up yet but uh, I'm trying to get used to whatever temperature is there at the moment so we'll just see what happens I suppose oh well just keep going The feral pig is on the northern end of the Bilberman track. You might have seen that in one of my earlier videos. So uh, over the last few days to a week, there's been a, an event on the southern end of the Bilberman track, an event called the Delirious West 200. Unbelievable. It was postponed from February. So uh, the conditions are a little bit different at the end of winter than at the end of, or the, right at the end of summer. There's quite a bit of water around. I had satellite tracking and for four or five days I uh, was glued to my computer watching these dots and uh, getting to know these people who were taking on this uh, unbelievable challenge. So it was, uh, it was pretty incredible and uh, it was really inspirational and uh, it was a good time really for that to come for me you know, leading into this event with now less than uh, four weeks to go you know it was really motivational and inspiring i'm really quite encouraged by uh, you know watching these guys seeing the posts some of the little short videos it's just fantastic so if any of you guys uh, are watching this congratulations on uh, something that was, you know, fantastic and well done. And, uh, you know, I hope that I can, uh, you know, achieve something similar in the feral pig. But uh, anyway, just a little thought as I go along and, uh, you know, inspired to keep going. Okay, uh, here we are in the last long run of our B-Wave up. And uh, if you remember, 
we have an A, B, C um, zigzag, A down, B up, C down, leading us to event week. So this is uh, the last long run in the B up wave. I guess it's next to the freeway here. It's um, you know quite a long run in the scheme of things, but uh, just taking it at an easy pace, making sure we get the volume done. Uh, not really that long to go now. So uh, after this one, it's C down, which is I guess really our uh, our taper, and uh, then it's the feral pig. So you know it was 32 degrees yesterday, and today I don't know it feels like 22 or something. I'm trying to run in the warmer parts of the day, but uh, it's not really happening. And uh, it even looks like there's some rain about today. So you know, be prepared for anything. In the meantime, we'll just keep going. tried to get a couple of months ago but this tower was under repair so there we go finally so view from the wireless hill um, mast tower beautiful That is uh, literally 60 k's. That is the end of wave B up 
in this zigzag and all that's left now is uh, a gentle drop down to finish the zigzag with wave C and get to event week so that's it all the uh, hard all the long work is done and I'll just be drifting down in the wave C taper to uh, to get to event week so that's it um, stay tuned for more we're getting close now in the meantime just keep going